Hello, this is Chris. In this tutorial on how to print Myla balloons with your iColor white toner printer. This tutorial guides you through the entire production process and also answers questions asked by members of the group. So let's start. We don't want to compete with items that are mass produced, so we are looking for a market that is personalized and in low to medium quantity. Good examples for personalized markets can be found for example at weddings, but also at everything pregnancy and newborn related, like this ultrasonic picture over here. And of course for birthdays, where pretty much everything is personalized. Many members also ask, what can I charge for it? Here are two examples of what I charge. For a small balloon with a 3x6 inch print, which is about a third of a page, $15. $25 for a large balloon where I use a complete page. Myla balloons are very heat sensitive. That's why we need transfer media that can work with a very low application temperature, like two-step papers. Out of my experience, two-step standard, two-step select, premium and ultra bright do work well. The next thing to do is to look at the actual production process. So here we go. First thing to do is to print. This is two-step select. Our next step to do is to marry A and B together. We just use the settings that are in the instructions for our transfer paper or what we have made in our notes. Now we have all our transfers ready to apply them onto balloons. Here are a couple of balloons that we need for our job today. I just bought them from Amazon. Just a couple of tips for the balloons. The transfer size should be about a third of the balloon surface. And you do not want to press on this part over here, on the vent. If you press too much on the vent, the balloon might seal up. You can see it a bit better in this shot. This vent goes pretty deep, some are much smaller. On larger balloons, we can also use full sheets. We place our balloon on the heat press and we make sure to leave the vent out, like over here. My temperature is 200 degrees Fahrenheit, but you might need to go a little bit higher or a little bit lower as heat presses aren't super accurate at their temperature range. My pressure is medium and time-wise we just work with about 5 seconds. You basically see it here in the video, there's no cut in there. Really short time. Now take it off the press carefully, let it cool and now we start peeling. Use your palm, apply some pressure, peel it back, really easy. If this is your first balloon, you want to make sure that you didn't seal it by accident, so we're just gonna blow up one with a straw. Fiddle it into the vent and then just blow it up. The image might appear a little bit too small in this picture when it's flat, but as soon as it's blown up, you will see the image just looks right. See? Looks perfect. Just some further tips for peeling. If you peel and it comes off, like the letters over here, just roll it back and put it back in the press. Here's another angle of my peeling technique. Just fold it over, roll it flat, apply some pressure. Push it down so it stays flat. And it's really easy to peel. With our larger transfers, it's the same thing, the same technique. Just use two hands, push it down, roll it off, nice and smooth. If you want them to float later on, just use some helium balloon gas like here in the background and your larger balloons will float. Shipping your balloons is super simple. Just fold them over carefully and stuff them in a cardboard envelope.
I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And also, if you happen to press balloons yourself, please share your results with other users in our group. Until next time, bye bye.